Hello guys, I'm here with my Jiu-Jitsu friends, Nate Yo. and Koyama-san. They both train Jiu-Jitsu. He's actually a blue belt and he's a white belt, but uh, we've been training together. And uh, let's go, let's go walk together. So I think we'll make a big change on our Kazuki's BJJ YouTube channel. Uh, what we are gonna do is, as three, we'll hang out in a lot of cool places in Tokyo and also we'll find an academy there so that we can train there as a visitor. So that I can show you guys cool places in Tokyo while showing you guys training in BJJ in Japan. Right? Are you excited? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's see, let's see. We'll actually go to Okachimachi Station and today we are not gonna visit any academy as a visitor. We are not gonna join any classes, but we rented out a space so we'll just train together as three and we'll show you guys our training and from next week we'll go around a lot of places in tokyo and i'll show you guys some good bgg academies so rainy it's not the rain season yet though right it's not oh it's actually it actually is so in japan we have a tsuyu season so it's basically from the end of april to may we, it usually rains a lot like we get a lot uh, so this lot. is to you okay so it's it's to you and then we get typhoons in like summer? Yeah, summer, September. On. Which train are we taking? In Yamanote line. Yamanote line is one of the main lines in Japan. And what's funny about the line is it goes circle. Yeah. So even if you miss the station, you have to get off. <laughs> you can just be there for like three hours and you'll be <laughs> wherever you want to go. So we are about to get on the train. All right, guys, here we arrived. Okachimachi Station. This is where the academy that we rented for our training is located in. But before we go to the academy, we have to do something. There is something that we have to deal with. Right, Koyama-san? Look straight. Check this out. This nose hair. It's so funny that we won't be able to focus on training. So we should definitely pull this out. I mean, I'm not going to pull this out. He's going to pull this out. <laughs> now we are ready to get to training and after training we'll hang out in uh, Ameyoko Street in Okachimachi Station Alright, I guess we arrived the academy that we are about to rent Okachimachi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy I, I, I'm actually a friend of the owner of this academy and we actually train together once a week here. It's a very good academy, it's kind of new. They started their own place last year and they have a lot of members too. This one. Okachimachi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. So if you come to Japan, make sure to check it out. All right, let's get in. Right, this is the academy. Yes. Here we are, we are in Okachimachi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. Right. By the way, he just got his blue belt no. with lock time. Right. So, what we are going to do is to do a five minute round and then we'll just go around, just spar, spar, spar. The problem is this thing. I have freaking no idea how to use this. All right, let's see. Okay. That's good, it's five minutes. But how can I do the interval thing? Nay. Uh, like, three, like 30 second rest or something afterwards? Yeah. Program. Program. Maybe they already. Did I fuck up their program? I think if you just reset, you're fine. How can I go next? <laughs> All right, oh. let's see. So the first round is gonna be Mundial final. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate Lapinski versus Shunsuke Koyama. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Open 
So Koyama-san is around like 90 kilo because he, he's been eating too much rice cake. And uh, Nate Lapinski is, uh, is around like lightweight, probably like 170 pounds or something. And Koyama-san used to train judo before, so he's pretty good at takedowns. And Nate is really good at uh, spider guard, lasso guard, dirahiba guard, right? So they do really good sparring. Yeah, let's go for the takedown, takedown. You can pull too. Nice knee slice. Super clean. Nice sweep. Top, 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 top. Two points. Two points. That was an advantage. Two minutes and a half. So Ney has been hitting a plateau. I don't know why, but he said after he got the blue belt, he kind of feels like his BJJ got worse <laughs> somehow. I think it's kind of weird because I've, oh, nice, Seoi. Nice. Come up on top, top. Two minutes. Let's go, Nate. One minute left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Nate. Omo plata, omo plata, omo plata, omo plata. Nate, omo plata. Yes, exactly, see? Almost. Ah. 20 seconds. Nice. Tap up, tap up, tap up, tap up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Koyama-san's pressure is so strong. Okay. So, Nate, I think you did a, a very great job of entering on Plata, but you lost it at the end. But uh, what I was saying is from Carlos Leaf Guard, but every time you go for Omo Plata, you gotta get your left knee inside. See, my left knee is outside his right elbow, but I gotta make sure I'm gonna get my left knee inside here, okay? And then from here, what I wanna do is to kick this out. See, my left knee was here, right? And then we'll kick this out, and then check this out. As soon as I kick this out, kick this out, I'm gonna get my left knee in inwards like this, right? And then we'll get Omo Plata, right? But as soon as I do it, as soon as I do it, he's gonna try to jump to the other side, right? Right, so as soon as he tries to do it, so it doesn't matter if you grab it outside or inside, uh -huh. you have to grab this gi material. Okay. Then this is what's gonna happen. As soon as he tries to jump, jump shot, so. See, I can come up. But if you don't grab this, see, she's very stable. This is what happened. So come back. So as soon as he tries to jump, I'm gonna either grab it from inside or outside. Actually, outside is a little better, but he tries to go to the other side, right? We'll come up on top, yeah. This is the, uh, you know, Kachimachi finals here. Oh, nice sprawl. Got some, this is turning into a judo tournament. One thing about Kazuki is he's got Really, really, really good judo. Koyama-san is also a black belt in judo, as was previously mentioned. But we got a takedown here. And... Half guard. Koyama-san's been practicing his deep half, so let's see if he can put it to use here. Maybe not at this moment. He's inside control now. Oh! Just over two minutes to go here. Amazon going to combat base. Trying to do an X pass. <laughs> Showing how the Oma plot is done. <laughs> Mine almost looked like that. Straight into a gogol. Gogol plata? Gogol plata, okay. It's like Jujitsu Jeopardy. Amazon going for the collar drag.
the deep half specialty here from Koyama-san. Ooh. I can tell you with Koyama, you don't want to be in his front headlock or his deep half. I was just in both, it wasn't fun. So let's see here. There's the front head. With just over one minute remaining. So. All right, so we are gonna do something very fun. I'm not sure if it's, if it's gonna be fun for me, but this is what we are gonna do. These two guys, these two crazy guys, I'm gonna go against one by one, right? But if I get the top, the next person comes in. If I get the top, the next person comes in. And within three minutes, let's see how many taps I can get from a blue belt and a white belt. Guess how many taps I can get in your comments. So, okay. How many taps do you think I can get from you guys within three minutes? I'd say like 12. Huh? 12, pretty easily. I'm thinking one every 15 seconds. 12, 12 taps within three minutes? You can get one like every That's 15 really seconds. That's really a lot though. Okay. Because, it, because, you gotta, because you gotta think about you guys changing too, right? That takes like five seconds to change. Oh, we're not gonna change. pause it when we change? Not like a chest timer? No, we are not gonna, we are not gonna stop the timer. Okay. Eight. Eight. How about you? Three. Three. So what's you guys' goal with them? That's you guys' guess, right? Yeah. I want to try and survive for 20 seconds without getting tapped. That's my goal. Okay. How about you? How many taps? Three. Three. Okay. I'll get tapped five times. If I get the tap every 20 seconds, well, that's going to be like 380, right? So it's going to be like nine taps. So I'm going to try nine taps. If I can get the tap every 20 seconds, it's going to be... Nine taps. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh, 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 Yeah. I knew he was going to try and wrist lock me if I grabbed his gi. I'm pretty sure he's still going to wrist lock me. Ah, oh, Koyama san, you can do it. Every second you suffer is the second I don't have to suffer. Hang in there, buddy. Only two minutes left. Ah, ah. All right. <laughs> Not quite right, Lawrence. Lock. Oh, one more. <laughs> Damn it, go ahead, Amazon. Go. Seconds. Ah. My boy almost on, only 27 seconds, buddy. Hang in there. Watch out for the almost fall to arm bar. Wrist, well, you can't wrist lock you. Only 11 seconds. Seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Push. All right, let's focus on how was it? Much harder than I thought because every time I get the top, I get super fish ah. guy coming after me, right? And also, they're not really thinking about attack. You guys are not really thinking about that because they're <laughs> thinking about defense too, right? That's what I do every time I roll with you. <laughs> Just think about defense. <laughs> That's very hard. So, the number of taps that I got from them was five. It's much harder than I thought. Five, that means 36 seconds. Yeah, just about. One tap yeah. every 36 seconds. Just about, yeah. I don't know if it's good or bad, but definitely that was hard. All right, so we are about to hang out in Ameyoko Street. Ameyoko Street has got a lot of uh, cool places for shopping. So, uh, We'll go there and we'll show you guys how cool Ameyoko Street is. So, let's see. All right, we are here in Ameyoko Street. Ameyoko Street. So, Ameyoko Street is one of the most famous places to hang out. But, uh, you know, it's got a lot of like cool, small merchandise, like tiny stores. And it's super fun to hang out. So, we'll go there. Why is Ameyoko called Ameyoko? I don't know. I don't know why we call it Ameyoko, it just doesn't make sense, but... Koyama-san says Ameyoko is coming from America. So Yokocho is kind of like street, so it's like an America street. That's what Koyama-san says, but I don't know how credible that information is, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, let's go. Ameyoko street. See, it's got uh, a lot of cool t-shirts. They got a lot of good deals. See like those t-shirts, it's like 500 yen, but you can never find any clothes for 500 yen in Japan, so they got a lot of good deal. They got like uh, some izakaya, which is an alcohol restaurant, right? And this is Koyama-san's head. And they got like a lot of golf equipment, shoes. I wonder what they sell. I kind of feel like I'm in Thailand right now. Is this what Thailand's like? Except I've never been to Thailand before. <laughs> 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 All right, then in that case, I feel like I'm in Thailand too. Have you been to Thailand no, before? <laughs> <laughs> right, then we have nothing to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is oh, America. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is America. Yeah. So that probably means they got a lot of clothes that you can see in the US. This is America from the clothes? Yeah, it's America's American brand. So he says most of clothes are from the US. They got like an American brand here. Can you go? Yes, yes. It's a mini mini shop. Mini mini shop. Yes, he confirmed that Ameyoko is actually from America, America Street. American guy? Yeah. Do you feel like you're in the US? Uh, yeah. yeah? The is it uh, like an uh, American style clothes? Some of them, definitely. Some of them? Yeah. He said they got a lot of like American brands here. Ah, that's probably why. Yeah. Wow. Easy yeah. This is kind of like a side street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. It's kind of a narrow store. Wow, that's cool. And they got a lot of shops here too. Eat. We found something very crazy. Oh. I guess this is a vending machine for insect. Hey, it's healthy, Insect right? food. <laughs> Giant cricket <Bugs>. cookie. <laughs> Oh my god, it's kind of expensive too. <laughs> wow. Is it real though? Like actual? Plus it's super expensive too. I think Tagami is a flea. Oh, okay. I'd have to look it up. Giant water bugs. That's, that's... Oh gosh. Yeah, so hey, we got gross. tarantulas too, you know. And scorpions, you can get scorpions. I wonder if they, ex if they expire too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. All right, if we start a vlog, we have to buy it, <laughs> right? 
We cannot just leave here. I, I would like to just feeling grossed out. Point us out that this was Koyama-san's idea. So he's gonna buy these. What does it say? Can you read it? Super Otsumami Korogi. It's Korogi. Yeah, it's Korogi. Look, you can choose where you want your cricket from. Kyoto, Yamagata, Nihonmatsu. So this says Super Cricket um, Caramel Biscuit. Alright, let's All right. see it. Let's see. Oh, 500 yen. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Cricket. <laughs> yeah. The very first thing it says is cricket. <laughs> so. Alright. Let's see. There you go. There's your crickets. Oh my I guess we can each have one. Wow. Koyama-san, oh, do you want to go God first? Damn it. Well, to be fair, that was Koyama-san's uh, idea. Uh, well, okay. So well, what should we do? You cheat one. First, Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. Nate is taking it like a man. We're all eating He's one, like, right? he's gonna... Well, let's... Oh. Honestly? It's kind of good. Really? Really? Yeah, I mean... Fuck, I gotta try it too. Well, good might be a strong word. <laughs> I'm gonna take just one. I ate three. Really? Mm. Not bad, right? Mm. No. Just don't... <laughs> think. Hmm. <laughs> There you go, see? It's a bar, actually. Yeah. It tastes like chocolate chips, actually. You know, honestly, with like some beef or something, you know? Some beer? Be Except it's cricket. He said he's gonna take all of them. I don't know how many crickets in it. I'd probably say like 30, 40 crickets. But he's, he's gonna take it like a man. He's gonna eat all of them. Four? All of them. Huh. Okay. Oh. You ate all of them? Don't think about it, it's fine. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Delicious? Mm. What if you wake up tomorrow and you look like a cricket? Let's do it. So, they got a lot of good deal for the fish. And this fish bowl is so. It's a fish bowl. It's like a. Korean food or something? Chocolate strawberries. Japanese traditional. Oh, have you seen this in the US? Uh, Is it from the US? Uh, I don't know. I've seen this before. So. You've seen this before? Yeah, some people wear them. I don't know if it's from Japan. Is it. Uh, some of the patterns maybe came from tattoos or no? Like I guess the design is actually from um, tattoos. I guess this is the end of Ameoko. Is it? Ah, oh, right, right, right. I guess. Man, look at the seafood market. Yeah. You can never find really good deals like this. It's like Seattle, remember? Kind of. It's kind of like Seattle. Kind of. That's true. Uh, That's true. Place. Pike Place Market. Except Hi. they don't throw the fish. <laughs> That's right. You know? That's right. No flying fish here. Yeah. So we'll finish this video with this rear statue. I don't know what this indicates, but <laughs> that's it, right? Oh, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.